Hey guys, it's Story. Welcome to the channel or welcome back. I reorganized all my bookshelves the other day and I filmed all of it, but I actually forgot to do the intro, so here I am. First I go over the books I'm getting rid of, then I kind of go through my TBR, and then after that I have all my leftover books of what I need to organize. I have a really big bookshelf and then I have two smaller bookshelves that I reorganize in this video, so please like this video if you like these types of videos so that I know for future reference and of course subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on any social media if you aren't already I'm a bit more active over there but I hope you enjoy all right so first I wanted to show you what books I'm getting rid of so before I organize my bookshelves I always go through and decide on what books I want to get rid of so I went ahead and listed all the books for you for reference to the left since I do this pretty quickly um, but I do sell all of my um, books that I unhaul on my Depop, which is at Storybook. I'll link it down below for you guys. I think a few of these are still available, um, and then I've added a few more as well, and anything left over I just sell in person at used bookstores. Next is the fun part. I love reorganizing my TBR shelf, but this is my little shelf I have on my dresser in my bedroom. Excuse the mess, but I'm about to redecorate the wall above the TBR shelf. First, I get rid of books that no longer need to be on my TBR, like the K Kingdom of the Wicked series. That was one of my favorite series this year. I just like looking at it. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go ahead and add books that I went ahead and brought up that I wanna read. So I want to continue the Six of Crows series and the Akatar series. So those are first come, first serve type of thing. And then these four books right here are Dark Academia books. I'm really wanting to get into Dark Academia before fall is over. I also added a thriller because I never read thrillers unless it's fall, so that's the thriller I've chosen for this. If I can find this little contraption that I use for my TBR shelf, I'll link it down below as well. And then these are some books that I'm keeping on my TBR shelf that I still want to get to. So A Million Junes is supposed to be really good uh, for the winter, so I'm keeping that on there. And then Luster I started, I just never finished, so I'm keeping that on there. And then Family of Liars is a newly released sequel I want to get to. So this is a close-up of all the books. Um, since I went through that pretty quickly, but in case you wanna know what I'm trying to read here soon, this is it. So here's what the bookshelf looks like before. Um, a little messy, obviously. I have some open space now after unhauling those books, um, but this is what it looks like. Here's a wide shot so you can see what the space looks like, I guess. Um, yeah, a bit messy, sorry. <laughs> We're gonna reorganize this whole area, but those are some new books I just gotta need to organize, obviously. This is another little bookshelf over here. It's kind of like an excess flow of hardcovers at this point. And then here's where I keep my classics, right where they belong. <laughs> So first off, this top shelf is a part Twilight shelf, part Caraval shelf. I'm gonna make it an entire Twilight shelf now. And then this next one is kinda all over the place. It's just tall hardcovers. It doesn't really make much sense other than that. There's more hardcovers on this shelf, and then I have small hardcovers, or short hardcovers, I should say, on that shelf. And then the bottom two shelves are paperbacks. Um, which are all the same length as well. If there was one that was a little off, I just put it on my other bookshelf. But yeah, you'll notice that the first way I organize is by length. So I do tall hardcovers, short hardcovers, and then paperbacks. And then I just color code it by whatever the colors are. So I don't actually go by the rainbow color code, it's just whatever I have. It actually was super colorful, but it's about to get darker now that I've gotten rid of some of those colorful books. So I'm gonna do the top shelf first, and the reason I said hold on was because I realized I didn't get all the knickknacks off of my shelf, um, so I did that first. And then here, I've taken the Caraval series, or Caraval series, and I'm putting it on the second shelf. This series has all sorts of colors here, as you'll see, so um, I get pretty frustrated. I play with it quite a bit, because I realized I needed to figure out this second shelf. Um, because I already knew what I was doing with the first shelf with the Twilight series. So then I just realized I had to kind of figure out all of my tall hardcovers and kind of reorganize it to how I want. So right here, I realized that Carval was not going to fit with all these other series I wanted. So I decided to put that series on the third shelf here. And then on the second shelf, you'll see that towards the left, it's the Six of Crows duology and King of Scars duology. Um, I just went ahead and put Kingdom of the Wicked in beside it. And then to the right, 
is Akatar, and I went ahead and added Crescent City as well just to keep the authors together. So that's kind of a TBD at this point. I just had to have Kingdom of the Wicked and these other series on the second shelf. And the new Careball series isn't a fave, so. I try a few different things here with the Twilight shelf. As you can see, I got the white edition. It's um, one of the anniversary editions of five or 10 years. I can't really remember, but I did not like the look of the white and the black being together. It just didn't look right. So, and then I needed something to put in the middle because I didn't have enough books. So I'm just adding some Twilight candles as a placeholder for now. If you darn know, I'm a big Twilight fan. I know everything about the series. It was the books that originally got me into reading. So it's basically like a shrine. <laughs> I actually just went to Forks for the first time and vlogged it, so I'll get that up soon. But here I'm just trying to figure out the color code for this darn shelf. It ended up looking really pretty actually because of all the silvery purple blue tones. So I actually really like it. And then the paperback shelves. These are actually pretty easier than the rest of the shelves because I only have a select um, group of books to choose from because this has to be paperbacks and I have a lot of different colors going on. So I just have to figure out where they fit in the mix or if I want to completely reorganize this section, but it's basically just color coding. The short hardcover section was pretty easy or so I thought at first because I only had enough room for like one or two more books. Um, but then I realized the colors just weren't working for me. I was getting frustrated, of course, because I'm such a perfectionist when I organize my books. So I reorganized this so many times. This is the book length I'm most limited to, so that's why I'm reorganizing this so much because I only have, again, like a few more books to add to this, so the coloring options aren't like the rest of the shelves, I guess. And then my next shelf. So I love this little shelf. It can only fit so many books. So whatever's left over is gonna go upstairs in our bonus room where my third shelf is. Um, but these are all of the books that I have left. So I just have to figure out how I'm going to display these if I want them to be organized by length or by color or whatever. But this, this is what's left and it has to go right there. All right, let's get this shelf clean, girl. I didn't realize how dusty this was, so I had to wipe it down first. Um, I don't touch these books on here a lot. You can kind of see the dust underneath the bookshelf. That's kind of what it looked like. <laughs> um, but I just went with the books that were closest to me um, to figure out what to do because I had no idea where to start. But I did have a lot of black books and they were all the same length. They were all tall hardcovers. So I went that route. I went from black to red to this kind of orangey look and tried to figure out what to do after that. This was actually pretty difficult because I committed to the tall hardcover look and the colors just were not matching up right. So eventually I decided that some of the hardcovers, the tall hardcovers were gonna have to go upstairs. In my third bookshelf, all the tall hardcovers that were left and my puppy wanted some love. So I gave her some quick lovings. And here I am just reorganizing a book or two to make it all complete. Try to figure out where to put this random neon purple book.
and there we go. I think that just about does it. I'm giving up at this point. <laughs> And here she is. I wanted to show you the completed shelf before I move on to the next one upstairs. You'll see that I'm going to show you the individual bookshelves here in a second, but I just wanted to show you the setup, kind of how like the color coding went, I guess. So not as bright as before, but it looks good for the winter, I think. So for the twilight shelf, there was a bit too much space for the candles. And then I realized I forgot life and death. So I had a life and death to the shelf. Look at how beautiful this shelf is right here. You'll see there's a little space. I'm going to put the next Akatar book there. I don't want to put something else there and then it messes the whole thing up. So I love how these two shelves look. They're definitely my favorite ones out of all of them. We got the Six of Crows duology, King of Scars, Kingdom of the Wicked, Akatar, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo because that's one of my favorite books of all time. The Caraval shelf and some matching books to go along with it. Um, this next shelf doesn't mean a lot. Wow, this panning is just A plus content. And then the paperback shelves, which are always the most colorful, always like looking at these shelves. But yeah, I'm actually really excited how this turned out. Quick little shot here of the extra books I have that are going to go upstairs to the left there. But here are the books that made the cut for this shelf. I actually am pretty okay with this shelf as well. It's not perfect, but I like looking at it too. That's all that matters. All right, and then this third shelf, which is in our bonus room upstairs, just <laughs> is what it is. These are the overflow of books I have, so they're gonna have to kind of work. I have to do something, so of course I go to color coding. I'm putting all the white books together first and then trying to figure out where the color will go from there. If you see books on that top shelf there, those are actually my boyfriend's books. <laughs> this is the only, like, half bookshelf he has out of all my bookshelves so I let him have that and then I actually take the bottom shelf that I feel kind of bad about since I have so many bookshelves at this point but yeah you're gonna see me rearrange these quite a lot because they just don't really make sense together they're not books that usually would go together so I'm just trying to figure it out here zoomed in a bit because I realized you probably couldn't really see what I was doing. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the color code I went with. They don't look great together, but it'll do. It's upstairs, no one will see it. <laughs> and then here are the books that I have left over. So I just put these over top of those books. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Yeah.